The revolution in personal mobility promises sweeping change to the way we think about and use transportation in our daily lives. But it also will have a huge impact on the companies that are central to personal mobility since the first mass-produced Model T car rolled off the Ford production line over a century ago. The advent of autonomous vehicles, e-mobility, and mobility as a service demand a totally new approach to the design and function of assembly lines, and vehicle demand will divide into two channels. The first is the provision of homogeneous mass-produced vehicles for ride-sharing companies that rent cars out to the millennial not interested in vehicle ownership. The second is the provision of customized vehicles for individuals who still want to drive or to be driven autonomously by their own car. According to Autofax, demand for shared mobility vehicles will account for 30% of cars driven in Europe by 2030, while the proportion in the U.S. and Asia is likely to be even higher by then. In order to satisfy this demand as efficiently as possible, a new type of assembly plant will be needed. We call it the plug-and-play champion. At the center of the plant is a highly automated assembly line. One big difference from the way things are done today is that many more parts arrive in pre-assembled modules, ready to be slotted into place in the vehicle shell. And another big difference is that there are far fewer workers involved. Now let's turn to the second type of plant needed, the one that produces customized vehicles for the individual owner-driver. We call it the Flex Champion. Here, two new elements come into play. The Autonomous Guided Vehicle, or AGV, that carries the vehicle's basic body on a planned, but at the same time flexible route through the plant, depending on what type of vehicle has been demanded by the customer, and possibly only days before. The second is data, the creation of a digital twin of each and every vehicle part and process, allowing not only the minute-by-minute -minute sequencing of the AGV's route, but also to ensure, for example, that the precise settings for robots can be adjusted to the exact dimensions of stamping parts. This means car makers need to become data managers, not just a new type of vehicle assembler. They will need to manage huge amounts of data, covering not only the own value stream, but also the entire supply chain. All of this has huge implications for the automotive ecosystem. With more value-added work being done by suppliers, the share of industry profits in production will likely shift further to the supplier base. With less work being done by humans, workforces are likely to decline significantly in size. And as car makers move closer to the customer, questions arise over the future role of dealer networks. While there may be no immediate answers to these big questions, we believe car makers must now set the right production model for the future. Whatever choice you make, Ensure you hire the right people, invest heavily in your data handling and analytics capabilities, develop carefully the right production setup for your company's strategy and future business model. Get these three right, and you will empower your business to seize the opportunities offered by the automotive revolution.